Well, hello Aquarius. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to see what comes out here for you today. This is going to be for Aquarius. Let's get it for Aquarius. Ooh, you're working really good here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I want to get to what, I, what else I feel that is. This is just with you guys. You're so funny because it's like you're so logical about your thinking. This is not necessarily the swords, but everything you do. It just has to make sense. <laughs> you know, it's like you're the type of person that will like talk yourself out of something. OK, but this is this is what I'm saying. A lot of pinnacles. So I, I really do feel like you are really focusing on your work. Um, some of you with the five of pinnacles, I mean, it can talk about your money. Some of you may be having you know, problems financially. You were working before, you're not working now. But I just feel like in general with the five of pentacles, uh, this is about what you're feeling in your soul. This is this is the, the a entirety of your life. Uh, okay, I mean, it's not the best card, but you know, this is like something that you love to do. I mean, whether it's like making quilts or whatever, it's like the pleasure is being taken out of it because there's something missing from your life. You really do feel like there's like something that's empty. Um, some of you have already been through this already, but some of you are at this place, okay? So you do feel like, you know, even the things that you like to do, you're not even finding enjoyment out of it. Um, you need to find some balance, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, and it's interesting because you have the temperance card that pretty much talks about tempering your mood and balancing out. Um, and, you know, even looking at the Nine of Swords, this is not as bad as you think. This is like you worrying for no apparent reason, not saying that you don't have any reasons to worry, but do not overthink things. I feel like if you are in, let's say you are separated from your person right now, you're overthinking and you're going to get back together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I do see that your person will come back in in time. And I feel like you need that time. This is going to be a really good time for you to focus on you. I, I know. And I know I say that all the time, but this is literally what it really is. I mean, but it happens. You see people in the comment section, they say, oh, yeah, we haven't talked in like two months. And then a person contacts them. So that's what this really is. And so with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, focus on you. But I do feel like for some of you, it's like, it's like I am, yes, yeah, me, and I'm focusing on myself, but I really don't have any pleasure in anything. I'm really not enjoying life, okay? Um, and so this is going to be a way that the universe is going to help you face your inadequacies and focus on you, okay? You can't really run from this at this point. Yeah, 9, 10. <laughs> so, you know... There has been, um, some of you really dig, maybe something dealing with your job, some, ugh, I don't know. I feel like um, when it comes down, somebody betrayed you or backstabbed you, lied, you didn't get the promotion, something like that, I'm also saying. Like, you feel some kind of way about something that happened at your job. You really do, okay? Um, and I'm not, and, and to me, it feels, to me, it feels like, someone overlooked you in some kind of way and you're like I've been working my ass off how did this person get this that's what this looks like to me um and some of you this is just suffering from disappointment because you're working and you still feel poor five of pentacles you still feel like you're not making enough money like what what is what is it that I have to do in order to feel stable and that's what I'm saying here in your reading now, as far as relationships, I mean, I mean, the, the Ten of Swords is not the best card to see in relationships. It's kind of like, you hurt me. I am down for the count. It was hard for me to get back up. And a lot of you experience this in different areas of your life. It hasn't just been one area. That's the bad part about it. I love it. I love it. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. So here with the Queen of Pentacles, I love the fact, oh my gosh, queer. Even though this is future, this is not the, this is like, you know, immediate future. So maybe next week. Okay. Cause I'm still going to pull some more cards. I'm happy that I at least told you that. Um, Queen of Pentacles is really good because like I said, you know, where you are right now, as far as finances, it's going to get better. Okay. I just, it's just this whole financial uh, thing for me is really like screaming from your read right now. Um, and things are going to get better for those who are concerned about their finances, their finances. Okay. 
As far as relationships, you will have someone that's going to come in here in the future. Yes, yes, but you are going to have to heal. There are some things that you've been through that I just feel more than anything that's going to take determination for you to get out of this sadness, depression, uh, whatever you've this funk that you've been in. Okay. And it's just so much anxiety. It's just a lot of things that you feel that you don't have some things that you want. You're like, I done gave my whole life and soul to someone. I done gave my whole life and soul universe to help people. And I haven't gotten what I want. And you really see it with that nine of swords and that ten of swords. You just see so much anxiety. You feel betrayed. And the seven of wands is determination. Yes. But it's like, it is kind of like, you know, why do I have to always feel like I have to fight? Okay. <laughs> um, and, and that's just what I'm saying. And I also feel like when it comes down to relationships, as far as romantically, there is going to be someone that's going to come back in. Somebody you may have blocked before possibly, but I feel like this is more so you're going to have a decision to make. Like this is really a head over heart decision. You really want to be in love. You really want to feel stable in your connections, but that moon card, you're like, why am I always so disappointed? Why is there always an issue? So for some of you, you're still going to be facing this, 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 you know, a tug of war in your relationships. Like these are not going to go smooth as much as you want to. People will be around. There'll be people around, but maybe the person that you're dealing with doesn't want to commit. Okay. Or they're taking their precious time with committing. Okay. So I, I love the fact that the Tempest card is here because you definitely have to balance out in different areas of your life. And I mean, listen, with you, you're going to have to, okay, you're going to have to balance out. These are going to get better though, but I do see, yeah, I love it. Opportunities galore here with these seven of cups. You got a lot of opportunities, but I sent so much anxiety and scattered energy, uncentered. And like I said, that's what I see with the, the Tempest card. Pull yourself together. Say, you know, remember, like, okay, remember my words. This is what you're going to say to yourself. You're going to say, Yasmin said that I have to pull myself together. Why? Because I've been there. Okay. So I ain't can't nobody say I haven't. But you're going to have to. Um, you know, you got a lot of things that's coming in for you. You want to be able to take up these opportunities in love and in, in finances. Anytime you see the, the cups, this is talking about, you know, different, like a gateway of opportunities coming your way. You want to be prepared. You don't want to be all over the place when these, when these situations come. Um, and you do have love coming in and you do have, um, different people and romantic relationships as far as who you will want to deal with coming in. But you can, let, let's say you're not right within your emotions. If you're uncentered. Do you know what type of love, what type of people you're going to be attracting? So you see how important it is for you to be centered, okay? <laughs> That's the reason why it's so important. Yeah, getting out of this energy of feeling rejected, feeling, you know, left out, cast aside because of, and I feel like your person, very interesting. Whoever this is in your energy feels that way as well. Um, maybe they're not used to a person not really giving them attention or running after them. I feel like some of you Aquariuses are doing this, you know, you're in your head. And so they may not be used to a person that's constantly in their head. And so it looks like you're neglecting them. So, so <laughs> whoever you're dealing with is in their feelings. They're not going to express it, but they are. Whoever you're dealing with is very guarded. Okay. They're very guarded and they're, 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 they take their precious time to do whatever. Okay. Um, but you know, you have to be on the same page, you know, and this is something that you're going and you're going to be talking about. And I feel like this is a rocky start. It's not saying that it can't work, but you have to be on the same page, but the universe is offering you new opportunities and choices here with the seven of cups, even if it doesn't. Yeah. Look at this seven of swords. So I do feel like there are going to be people and things that you're going to cut out, but I mean, a lot of you are just such in this energy of like, what is the meaning of life if I can't have what I want? And I'm telling you, it's not going to last long. A lot of you just have to cut things out in order to, in order to clear the paths for those seven of cups. If that seven of cups wasn't there, then I'll understand. Like you literally have opportunities in love and in your finances to, to, you know, make your finances better. That seven of cups hit the seven of, I mean, the queen of pentacles. So, you know, as far as what you need, opportunities that's going to come your way to make money and to be grounded, you're going to be fine. And also it's talking about someone that you could possibly meet that's going to be just as giving as you are in relationships. So chill out. I know a lot of you are in this energy. You're very guarded, but part of that queen of swords is strength. This is you being very vocal about what you want. And I do see that. I feel like whoever you're dealing with in particular, if this is someone that you know, 
This time is going to be different. You're going to be very vocal about what you want. It doesn't have to be a fight. It doesn't have to be an attitude. But you are tired of this energy of feeling depressed and sad and having anxiety. You're tired of that. So I do see you standing up for yourself. I do see you being more clear-minded. That's what I'm saying here. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, look at what happens. So I see you getting away with your getting away with your person. You guys going on vacation, talking about it. Your person is thinking about you. Someone is thinking about you just as much as you're thinking about them. So let's just see how it works. Let's just see how it works. Remember, your your reading is talking about centering. Center yourself, okay? But this is what I have for you here, Aquarius. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye.